with the issues that the Mets are having right now, do you think that they can turn this season around? And as far as manager Terry Collins, do you see him being with the Mets for the remainder of the season? And if he is here for the remainder of the season, will he come back for the Amazons next season? I've never seen a team have the get, get bit by the injury bug as much as the New York Mets have this season. And in a lot of ways, we have to almost give Terry Collins a pass because it's not necessarily his fault. And on top of that, the people that have really been making the mistakes have been the, 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 the trainers and the front office. So it's not necessarily on Terry Collins. However, if this team continues to stumble and they don't wind up making the playoffs this year, if I'm Sandy Alderson, and Sandy Alderson has done a terrific job as the general manager with the small amount of money that the Wilpons have been able to give him to go out and get top tier prospects. I think that you got to keep Terry Collins on a short leash. The window that the Mets have to go ahead and chase a championship has certainly dwindled. They were just two years ago at in the World Series. They lost to Kansas City in five games. So in some ways, I, I, I don't want to fault Terry Collins too much. But at the same time, it might be, you know, at the end of the season, if they wind up with a you know, 500 or below 500 record, it might make sense for them to go into a different direction. Yeah, I agree with you in the sense that he's going to, I think he does get a little pass uh, due to the amount of injuries he's had uh, this season. And he's had injuries last season. And he was able to turn it around towards the end of the season, make a, a good push towards the playoffs. But... What I was thinking was same along the lines of, as you, in that what is going on with this strength and conditioning um, staff? Who is monitoring these pitchers? Because I I don't think I've ever seen a pitching core get rocked by injury um, like the Mets have experienced. And I feel as though if that's your bread and butter, if you have something that not a lot of other teams have you need to protect that asset as best you can and from what i'm understanding especially in regards to noah Syndergaard, was just the kind of the violent throws he does every pitch and they're trying to just whip it all the time at 90 90 plus miles per hour and after a while that you know your shoulder's not meant to s sustain that kind of um, work over a long period of time so i feel as though Maybe regardless of how this season ends, I think that management should take a look from top to bottom to see where they can actually tweak because they don't want to go through this again next year.